And look at today's topic is the Songhai Empire. Many of you I know that you don't know how to pronounce this word. It's Songhai Empire. This is a great 10 history topic. So guys, make sure you listen very carefully because I'm about to give you everything that you need to know for your exams. I know I normally don't do grade 10 um, work or grade 10 history. This is just a, a video that I think of that I should do. I thought to myself, okay, let me do this video song Higher Empire and explain this topic. So if you are a grade 10 learner, it's very important that you listen very carefully so that you might learn from this video. And don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Okay, here's a comprehensive breakdown of the Songhai Empire covering all key details that are important for your exam. Introduction to the Songhai Empire. The Songhai Empire was a powerful state in West Africa that emerged in the 15th century, reaching its peak in the late 15th and early 16th centuries. Geographic location. It was located in the western Sahel region with its heartland along the Niger River. Founding and expansion. The empire emerged from the remnants of the Mali Empire and reached its zenith under the leadership of Sunni Ali who expanded its territory through military conquest. Government and administration. Songhai was ruled by a strong central government with an emperor or king at the top of the heritage. Local regions were governed by appointed officials who were responsible for collecting taxes and maintaining order. Trade and economy. The empire controlled key trade routes, particularly the trans-Saharan trade in gold, salt, and other commodities. Agriculture, especially along the fatal banks of Niger River, was crucial to the empire's economy. Remember, guys, that gold is valuable and salt was in demand. That means they were making a lot of money uh, selling salt and gold. Religion and culture. Islam was a dominant religion in the, in the empire, and the rulers often used it to legitimize their rule. Timbuktu, one of the major cities in the empire, became a renewed center of Islamic learning and scholarship. Downfall. The empire began to decline after the death of Sunni Ali as the internal struggles weakened in its, its power. In 1591, the Moroccan army invaded and conquered the Songhai Empire, leading to its eventual collapse. Legacy and Significance The Songhai Empire played a major role in the trans-Saharan trade and the spread of Islam in West Africa. Timbuktu Significance as a center of learning and culture during the empire's peak. The empire's downfall marked the end of the great medieval empires in West Africa. Conclusion Studying the Songhai Empire provides a valuable insight into historical, cultural, and economic significance of West Africa during this period. This comprehensive understanding will serve as an excellent foundation for your exam preparation. So, this one, actually, guys, uh, it's meant for your exam preparation. It's like you just studied, and it's just a little thing to know about the Songhai Empire. Remember, guys, it's very important that you also study. Don't just watch a video and don't study. You also study. This is just the information which I summarized. The things that I mentioned here are very important. Those are the things that are, are very, very important. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you, I can help you pass your exams. Subscribe to the channel. I normally don't do grade 10 content, but I will try to do more if I see that many of you subscribe and share the video. So, guys, peace.